Hello, good morning. We are Alfonso Yazabal and Pilar Rodriguez Pombo, two of the authors of the article entitled A Novel Regulatory Defect in the Branched Chain of Alpha Keto Acid uh, Dehydrogenase Complex Due to a Mutation in the BPM1K Gene Causes a Mild Variant Phenotype of Maple Syrup Hearing Disease. In our work that we describe is a hitherto unreported involvement of the phosphatase PP2CM in the MSUD condition of a 21 years old female patient. Now we are located in the Universidad Autónoma de Madrid, close to the Centro de Diagnóstico de Enfermedades Moleculares, where part of this research was done. But the story started in 1919, when a newborn female was detected in the neonatal screening as having increased amounts of branch chain amino acids in her blood. Continuing over years, with the clinical and biochemical follow-up of this patient. Uh, in the next uh, four minutes, we will try to show you a small piece of this research where constant work of clinicians and biochemistry made possible the identification of this novel and reported uh, regulatory defect, corroborating that also for all known diseases, as MSUD, something new can appear. MSUD is an inborn error caused by the deficient activity of the BCKDH complex. The blockage of this complex leads to an accumulation of branch chain amino acids and the respective keto acids in cells and body fluids. This is manifested as different clinical phenotypes, ranging from the most severe form, seen in 70% of patients with MSUD, to mild forms that present during early development. BCKDH, a mitochondrially located complex, occupies a strategic point in the catabolic pathway of branch chain amino acids. The oral activity is controlled by phosphorylation of the E1-alpha subunit, catalyzed by a specific kinase. Phosphorylation leads to an inactive form of the complex. The unphosphorylated active state is regained via the activity of a specific protein phosphatase PP2CM. Several reports have actually described PP2CM as a protein phosphatase with an essential role in the activation of stress signaling pathways and other functions related to development and or cardiac function. To date, only described mutations that caught MCD have only been found in the genes encoding for the catalytic units. Now, we will try to show the trace from the patient to the analysis of the impact of the ppn one k gene mutation on MCD phenotype and specific aspects of stress signaling. We present a patient selected as mild variant form of MSUD based on indirect biochemical and clinical variables such as BCKDH activity, metabolite levels at diagnostic, protein intolerance and clinical outcomes and for which no nucleotide changes were found in any of the MSUD related known genes. We used a copy number map obtained from the patient's SNP array dataset to investigate possible genomic rearrangements. SNP array analysis revealed a complete copy neutral loss of heterozygosity for chromosome 4. We sought for genes mapping at this chromosome and potentially related to BCA metabolism. PP2CM, encoded by PPN1K gene, maps to chromosome 4 at position 4Q22.1 and was selected as a good candidate. We sequenced the complete coding region of PPN1K and identified an homozygous nucleotide change, C417418 delta. Parents DNA sequencing together with the SNP array results suggested paternal UPD for chromosome 4. Next question to be answered was if this defective PP2CM protein was irresponsible of the loss of functionality of the BCKDH complex in the patient. To address that question, we transfected patient fibroblasts with wild-type PPN1K cDNA and measured the BCKDH activity. We observed a two-fold increase over basal BCKDH activity. The maximum recovery achieved was 35% of control activity. Since transfection efficiency was around 20%, as determined by immunofluorescence, we didn't observe a 100% recovery. Taking into account the discrete involvement of PP2C family in the critical signaling pathways related with human disease, is the RNBCA metabolism responsible of the pathogenesis in this patient? We explored the impact of PP2CM deficiency on metabolic stress variables, such as ROS content, kinase activation, or cell cycle progression. Our data confirms the effective PP2CM to be associated with a significantly increased ROS concentration and the selective induction of the stress activated MAP kinases P38 and Jung supporting the idea of its importance in cell survival. However, whereas cardiac function seems to be compromised in several PP2CM deficient animal models, no heart pathology has been seen in the present PP2CM deficiency patient. At this point, we could argue that in our patient, VCA and VCKA have always been under tight dietary control, thus possibly masking any potential effect. Therefore, the question about if the RN BCA metabolism represents the link between phosphatase effect and activation of stress signals is still open. Dear colleagues, we encourage you to send us a feedback via email and have a happy reading.